feeding the family does not have to be expensive, especially with my cheesy fish pie that uses some really basic ingredients like some frozen veggies and a tin of tuna to create a delicious and nutritious dish. And it's really simple to whip up. So I've got a little bit of cream here that I'm going to add into my saucepan. I'm gonna take a few little shortcuts with this dish. This is not fancy cooking by any means, but it's tasty. It's kind of like a cross between a tuna mornay and a shepherd's pie. So if you like either of those dishes, you're gonna love this. I've blanched a kilo of frozen veggies, and that's gonna go straight into the saucepan. I'm also adding in a can of tuna. Now, when you're buying tuna, always try and buy a dolphin safe or responsibly sourced tuna. I've poured out a little bit of the brine, but I'm also keeping a little bit in because I actually like the flavor of it. It's salty and gives that kind of tuna mornay vibe. This stage doesn't require a whole heap of cooking, but we do want to bring up the liquid to simmering point. Now you can see that it's quite liquidy in this pot. I've got a little trick up my sleeve to make this a nice, luscious, creamy pie filling. And it's an old trick that my mum taught me, especially when I was making Chinese stir fries. And it's a few teaspoons of corn flour and a little bit of water to make a corn flour slurry. Now you just give that a good mix until it's well combined. And this is getting hot now, so it's the perfect temperature to add in our corn flour slurry. And in no time at all, like magic, we are going to have a nice thick filling. Okay, that's come together quite nicely. At this point, you can season your pie filling. Got a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. Grab your pie dish. And once your filling is nice and thick, we're going to pour this in the base. The topping for this pie is a little bit different. Of course you could use mashed potato, but I've steamed a cauliflower and then I've blitzed it in my blender with a little bit of cream. And I'm gonna fold through, of course, some cheese. Yum, yum, yum. Using cauliflower just lightens up the pie. It's not as heavy as mashed potato. But of course, either will work. And top our pie with our creamy cauliflower. Just spread it out. And you know what I'm gonna say next, don't you? More cheese. <laughs> we want a nice golden coating. Right, this can go in the oven for around about 15 minutes. Bubbly and golden cheesy fish pie. What's not to love about this dish? I love to serve it with some sauteed dark leafy greens. This dish, it's really perfect as a midweek meal for the whole family.